Soon. Yeah, uh -huh. Onslaught and three. Nah, you can't go for this. But he's just pulling the wave again. Like, they're doing really well up here. Like, way better than I feel they should. Uh -huh. yeah, I think Roger's going to be zoned away a bit here. Does want to get that flag bearer regen, but he's going to be jumped now. And, and Roger is simply dead. He definitely underestimated the damage that Zionbox could throw on him. Yeah. No, Bedbloom's lane are, lanes are not going well. A few different builds. Some people go two points in the K. But I think, like, from what I watched, just getting that uh, point in Tombstone is more worth it. Like, if you're going for kills, plopping that down is good. Yeah. Oh, diving in there. Yeah, and a big one. Laurel uh, has two heroes under his towers. Make it beats him with the level six, at least to a more impactful. And oh, and it's for the minute six power rune as Boxy might perish here as a result. No uphill miss for Roger. He will strike him down, but a big rune there for Mickey as he's got the arcane ready to go. Oh, and hello, Roger. And likely goodbye. There's a lot of damage there in these remnants. Yeah, oh, Max, not level seven. No, this storm, uh, yeah, he, he's starting to become out of control there. And because yeah, I, I didn't pay attention, as you said, only level three has almost negligible damage into Chronosphere now on level two fire spirits. Yeah, they yeah, would yeah. need a, they would need a Zeus to rotate over. And Laurel just doesn't seem well. Maybe going no. not to, but Storm just keeps us in. Yeah, there's a roar up top lane okay. as well, but the TP bottom is from Mickey. They will get through Matumba Man up into the top lane though. Some bashes, and now the magic damage from Laurel is gonna pick up two kills. There we go, tower defended. They did need the Zeus, and they're going to pick up two kills for it. No Chronosphere needed, but Tower is still going to fall. Yeah. You smoke up on dying with the uh, Beastmaster, and you go get this Tower together. Oh, for now, though, the Deep Ward. Ooh, he's not oh going to quite catch the Hawk. Make it really committing for this one. Oh. A little bit lower on mana. Two bottle charges here with the Hook. And now the Chronosphere to Hawk looking to turn, but Rot's on, so he's forced to back away. They'd really love to have a Supernova now. Unfortunately, they don't notice, though, doing what he can, as they will get through Roger, who's trying to reinforce. And Sanya has done well to drop a tombstone, but it's only level one, so it's not going to save Matumba. Yeah. The rest of Bepum reinforce in numbers, and it's going to be a one for one trade, but a much better one there for Bepum, uh, continuing to play just as aggressive. Yeah. Okay, so he has the Vlads coming up now, so. Uh, yeah, they're Radiant looking for this mid tower. Mm. Makes sense. Smoke's going to break on a Roger again. Tumba oh, throws ooh. the hook. Oh, nice little four stab there, and the Icarus time canceled. Uh, not only by that roar, but most importantly by the dismember. Zion picks up the tower, and Liquid with a lot more room to maneuver and make these aggressive dives like we're seeing right now from Mickey. Okay, in the mid lane he goes. Laurel with a bit of magic damage back, and here's going to be now Boxy joining from the dire triangle. That boom, maybe not expecting to hit. Plenty of damage and buys enough time and space for Mickey to back up safely. Yeah. No, it's a cast animation. Uh, where Zip has to, or sorry, where Storm has to do his like little Mario pose before he zips away. So, oh, okay, there they go, they catch him. <laughs> Is the follow up here? Oh goodness, the damage, but he avoids it. And also he had an infused raindrop, so Laurel just shy of the damage that he needed. Supernova though in the middle of the river, Boxy though pulverizing the enemy mid laner will take him down. This is just a support for a mid. So yeah. all things favoring Liquid now. Oh, again, Mick is setting up for a little solo killer. Oh, but the Huck. Oh, he has a ward. He sees yeah. it. Uh, that would have been pretty spicy. Because they, they need to land like a Chrono uh, Supernova combo, you know? And this uh, is something that we maybe didn't think was going to happen, but Seneco actually really committing uh, now for his Orchid. It's Matumba. That'd be useful now to silence him. And since Seneco is going to find his Zeus next uh -huh. to Orchid, the Hawk is in, though. And that's a kill at least. Uh, onto one, but it's actually a kill uh, onto notice. Down he goes. Zai might be next to fall, but this tombstone perfectly placed on the high ground. It's forcing back Bepum, so Neko can't do much. U Supernova in five more seconds, but look what have timed this fight perfectly. He can really just kind of sit here in the trees and offer condolences. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Well, Roger comes uphill. It's going to be a, a, almost certainly a kill here. Yeah, Soul Burn will, will get the job done. Ah, the, the Zeus kind of was expecting some backup there, right? But it was not to be had. Where did he use that Supernova? Where was that? There was a the mid lane, right? Yeah. But this game with no stuns, I I kind of like it. Like, it definitely helped him pick off. Him and Storm can work together now. Yeah, that's that's kind of funny, right? Because, of course, the, the biggest strength of this hero back before when he was in captain's mode was you would just onslaught from behind. Yeah, and, and now you, there's no heads up for the Zeus, right? Yeah. Before this blink dagger, you hear him coming in the hook from Matumba. Yeah. Nicely done there. So Nako not expecting that, trying to go for the Sunray heals. He set himself up for her. 
a, a date with Supernova and it could be ready and expect the Hawk to back you up. But the Hawk's not really going to be in position to do that until he has BKB. I mean, he might be, you know, ruined by something as simple Ooh, as they're going for Orchid. Seuss here. And they're going to get him. Yep, they get Catches a glimpse of him, instantly silenced. Foxy Matu's stomping killing around. Matu killing Enchantress in the river. Uh, that's an easy one. He'll, he'll out heal that. Don't worry. This, this Pudge, uh, this Pudge Eggs up oh, is and very strong. That's not it, only it. Marcy is getting bored. But she got up. The Hawk is they are going to be able to move under the cover of a ward. Ah, oh, but Boxy's going to break the smoke. And he blinks <laughs> away too fast there. That boom with a swift D ward, but that's going to take some wind out of their sails. This Liquid might even look to counter initiate here. Yeah, oh, Matumba in. in he goes. He's going to be interrupted there by the stun. He does not actually have a BKB on Matumba quite yet, as there's going to be the Supernova committed. And oh, the Chronosphere does come out. They but still 50, get the kill there. 15 seconds on Aegis. Yeah, and Mika, he doesn't mind. He's still good to fight, like you say, and have that Aegis. Laurel's gonna die. There goes the Aegis now, but he's coming back with full Wait. mana. You best yeah, believe, Yeah, look out, man. He's gonna be diving you. In he goes to the tier three tower. Box is here to spark, and they've timed it perfectly here as his BKB expires. Double buyback triggered out from Bepboom, but the support, what can they do? Soneko, he's nearly dead immediately a second time. His Orchid doing some damage here to the Storm Spirit, but a big heal there from Insania. Keeps him topped up. Notice off lane, Marcy here. Do whatever you can. But, uh, I mean, she can only watch as the Enchantress pulverized and torn apart by Liquid. The high ground's next. Oh, it's getting ugly here, Pi. Yeah. No, Liquid definitely showed me that this lineup is duration. This member notice trying to fight through this one, but they've just held him oh, down no, throughout this entire duration of BKB. Liquid, they're going to wait outside of, of the Ramp of Death, and now Matumba, he dares go into the Ramp of Death. He's fallen pretty low here, actually, but there's the rest of the team now initiating behind him. The Hawk pops the BKB. There's the Chronosphere. It's going to catch Insania and Matumba here. Matumba falling low and will die, but they've gotten through notice. That's a dieback for him, and Mika is just free to jump around these fights. Laurel, he's doing damage, but now he's all out of mana here. The tank is empty. So is Mika's, but he's come off much better for wear here. It's only the Hawk who survives for Bet Boom and Liquid. Well, the game's their oyster. Go and take Roche? Sure. Go and take Top. That's what that is. This is a game you can buy a little more fun item, perhaps. Sure. Yeah, I mean, Zive's almost got an AC done. That's a fun item with your inner Oh, here he there. goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Seneko doesn't have Icarus Dive. Already escaped into the trees, trying <laughs> hopelessly to TP out. But and now they go bottom. It's Liquid, they're unyielding here. Look at that, they're eating the Hawk alive. Matumba, oh, okay, Hook is gonna be dodged there. There is a goes. jump in two seconds. The Hawk's been forced to BKB, has no Chrono for 25. They have no team fight. Laurel's being jumped now by Boxy, who has a BKB. There he goes, trampling around the fight. Oh, it's a huge onslaught. Zeus is deleted. Ench is roadkill, essentially, on the front bender of Boxy. I don't think they're done. I think they're after Notice here. Matumba with a blink in eight seconds. Notice might be a little bit too speedy. He has rebound and a creep wave here to rebound off of shortly, so he'll probably make it out alive. But it's gonna go for the hook. Nah. He's got a blink. Matumba. Okay. He's objective gamer. Yeah. Come on, now, Pi. We're not playing ARDM. <laughs> yeah, Ti. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there they go. Out of the bit. Tier four towers here for the melee creeps. Boxy at the ready to jump on in. Sinanko smoked oh. up. The Hawk smoked up. There's going to be the dismember as well. They're immediately uh, on to the end. who's just respawn. And goes Sinanko. Does find an Orchid. He silenced himself though in return. And the hook from Matumba. He needs to get off the egg and he can't. Doesn't quite do it. The Chronosphere doesn't catch anyone who's really killing the rest of Beppo. And, uh, and this one's over, Pi. Yeah, chase straight into the fountain. And will he finish him in there? Yep. Yeah. Ah, they, they, go. They, they finally kill Mickey, but it's the fountain that gets the job done. Uh, and unfortunately, it's Bepboom who lose game one to Team Liquid. Yeah, yeah, very unfortunate for Bepboom.